Ladies and gentlemen, how are you guys doing on this Tuesday, August 2nd, 2022? Already the eighth month of this fucking year. What a year it's been here at Music of Destruction. We're almost to 1,800 subscribers, which I think is truly amazing. Thank you for joining me here tonight for another metallic episode of Music of Destruction, bringing you only the most honest and unfiltered and fucking incredible metal content from the underground right here on YouTube on the only metal channel you fucking need. Uh, if you missed anything in the past week, you know the drill. Click the I bring down that menu. All the videos you need to get caught up on are right there, uh, as well as on the home page and all the different categories. Remember to hit that subscribe button down below, turn on that bell for all notifications so you don't miss a goddamn thing. Because you don't want to miss anything that I cover here on this channel, especially if you're an underground freak like myself. This is where you're going to get it, right here. You don't need to go anywhere else, you really don't. Welcome to Album Review Tuesdays here on the channel tonight. We're going deep beneath the earth into California for a look at an album that I've been waiting over seven years to get because I missed out on the first pressing. Yes, folks, tonight's review is of Leviathan Scar Sighted. Now, this album was initially released in 2015 on Profound Lore Records, while other labels picked up the first edition of the vinyl hard box sets picked up by Devout Records. Uh, this edition that I have is the only repress that's been done and it just came out this year of 2022 on Profound Lore Records and I was lucky enough to get a copy from my good friend. Thank you very much. You know who you are, Kareem. Now the man behind the band is known as Rest and you may know him as Jeff Whitehead uh, who hails from Oakland, California but used to reside in San Francisco until he relocated to Oakland. Jeff has also been featured in the 2011 documentary One Man Metal, which can be found online. It was a Vice documentary, or was it Noisy? I think it was Noisy. He also created Lurker of Chalice back in 2001 and has elaborated that it was a Muse project that was influenced by his longtime girlfriend's battle with brain cancer and her eventual suicide. He tried to take his own life at that time, but survived and didn't record any new Lurker or Leviathan tracks for a very long time. Now, in 2011, he would return with True Traitor, True Whore, which is a less than stellar Leviathan release. But, you know, in all artists' careers as musicians, they usually have a couple of less than par records. You know, they usually have records that aren't as good as others, but... That is not the case with Scar Sighted, okay? He is the sole member, Rest of Leviathan, plays all the instruments and vocals. He's also a tattoo artist as well. All right, let's get into this review, okay? Now, this descent into madness, loss, depression, and misanthropy leads with this incredible, overwhelming piece of dark ambient brilliance, which immediately washes over you with dread and despair. It's called The Sigil of Lilith, okay? And this is something that formed completely on its own, and the outing this time, based on this intro, is telling you that Rest has been saving the best for last, or worst of himself, if you will. This is a very compelling and fascinating intro piece to set the tone into the bewildering and terrifying journey into Rest's deepest cosmic cataclysms and abys abysmal corridors of his mind like this just gets really messed up okay now next up we have the smoke and their torment and this is clearly drawing you in through a stylistic shift in terms of the music but not any less black metal now one could argue perhaps that this is death metal based upon the low-end growls and snarling rasps of evil, intentuous vocals. You could even say there's doom metal in here, which there is, okay? Um, and yes, there are similarities with death doom in here, but this is still very much black metal, okay? Because the pain and desperation of this track is overwhelming and very complex as it weaves and bends around various corridors bleeding into one another, emitting pure disgust and decaying morbid visions of bleak isolation and suicidal fixation firmly planted 
within a black cacophonic swirling madness of an all-consumed despondency that makes its mark hard and fast, okay? And this is a new face from rest with an even more of a hell-bent crescendo drenched wrecking ball straight to the soul that obliterates any light or hope for redemption from the pain and obligatory solitude that is sought after for the purposes of expressing the deepest pits of hatred and intolerance. This is an absolutely jaw-dropping track, okay? Next up, we have Dawn Vibration, and where this one is taking you is quite possibly beyond anything one can fathom. Uh, because the intensity of its stark raving madness and unsettling ambience is incredible. The overall atmosphere here is unreal as it continues to grow and unfold like a mouth orifice from something straight out of the Necronomicon. It is an unfathomable abomination in the form of emotional viscerality and unconquerable rage as the disgust within the chambers of the guitar work grind against torturous and wailing vocals with low-end snarls and demonic growling that uh, bellow forth all over top of some insane ranting and broken cleaner vocal work from rest as he sounds like he's on the brink of a deranged dangerous psychotic episode this all collides with schizophrenic structures and chaotic time signatures that emit a very bleak alien world and landscape that is difficult to navigate through but one that compels and commands full attention the cohesiveness of this one is difficult to identify and tie down as it basically doesn't exist this is for all intensive purposes probably some of the most demented music ever recorded. Rest of course is a mastermind of insanity and morbid dark disgust and he knows how to craft it into sound form with immaculate precision. This is another terrifying and strange track but incredible. Next up we have Gardens of Coprolite and the ominous dark bass hits with thunderous velocity as it rides along strong percussive accents and some really incredible dark shifting ambient guitar notes that really work well together to create visions and emotions of rotting withering corpses all submitting to their overseers of despondency and wrath. The guitar work and drums create these chaotic time frames of unwavering distress and chronic uneasiness, but it all follows with despair-ridden anxiety and pain-filled wails of a tortured soul that is beyond repair. The way this is brought forth through the music and its utilization of ambience is a stark, raving, abrupt change in direction that really works well to create a horrifying bad acid trip of a journey into the blade's eye glistening with madness and insanity conjured up from beneath the bowels of purgatory and all of its atrocities that form into a seamless nightmare that you cannot wake up from. This is what the track did to me, okay? This is incredible. Absolutely incredible so far. Next up we have Wicked Fields of Calm and the more this record plays on the more you can clearly see what emotions can do when it comes to the power of creativity and the forms of expressionism that they can form into as they themselves become entities within the body of the one who's creating them and as they can often do and will merge with the right kind of listener who knows what the artist is conveying and why. It's a sense of knowing and the power of conviction and understanding the twisted thoughts and visions of what lies beneath the everyday man or woman who faces these things albeit in silence behind closed doors. And when these things reach fever pitch like they do here, there's only one choice. Create something so ugly and hopeless that the world has no choice but to take notice. Or mostly the people who are into this kind of stuff. Well, with this track becoming something that words alone cannot express, rather because one has to feel them, only then does it begin to make sense to someone from the outside looking in. The track is a true statement of all the aforementioned points and feelings that I talk about. The reason I can articulate these things with such precision is because I've felt these things myself. This is another amazing track, so let's check out some of Wicked Fields of Calm right here on Music of Destruction. Enjoy.
And yeah, we're back. This is killer stuff. Next up we have Within Thrall, and I imagine this to be a reference to something very insane, intense, and psychotic that rest is seen in his nightmares, and it's a way to anthropomorphize his pain and intolerance into something that resembles tangible, but at the same time not being able to fully do so. The cleaner guitar melodies really remind me of Lurker of Chalice, along with the chanting vocals at the beginning before it explodes into pure black metal double bass pounding execution with nothing but darkness and plague that emits from these riffs. Bass and drum work drip with venom, as do the keyboards of course, alongside Rest's insanely inhuman vocals that are drenched in this intense reverberated snarling rasps of fragility but on top of that is a strong convicted framework of power and venom that sounds like it all could fall into the precipice that's being birthed from this magnificent brainchild that is Leviathan's Scar Sighted. And if you ever wanted to know how the deepest depths of the soul sound like, well then Leviathan's discography will certainly be a great place to begin that journey into the corners of your mind where you've never dared ventured into. This is another excellent track. Next up we have A Veil is Lifted and what this is you might be asking. You might be asking what is this? Well. The title perhaps speaks to another veil of psychoses and or misanthropic despair that is peeling itself back and engrossing you into new levels or rather sub-levels of complex arrangements and strange juxtaposed conceptualizations of weird psychedelia and surrealistic nocturnal poison walls that are drenched in schizophrenic megalomaniacal passages that create jarring super fast frantic black metal panic stricken melodies and abrupt vocal shifts from quieter somber passages that sound like restful conditions but then they shift and wane back into crazy insane driven sections that crash against strong drum work that echo on the backbone of the guitars bass and rests in human vocals along with the keyboards that convey deep nightmare nightmarish terror along with fear and deep misanthropic hatred and intolerance. This is another killer track. Next up we have the 10 minute epic title track Scar Sighted and this is aptly titled because what this says to me is that it's the continuation of life in the existence that rest inhabits that is now jaded and destroyed as the scars of life have permanently etched themselves into his vision with clouded desperation, confusion, and a complex array of deep abysmal cosmic doom laden approaches here that bellow forth onto deep cataclysmic states of stagnant pools of despair and nihilism with an encroaching blackness that envelops you into claustrophobic walls of bleak hopelessness abandonment all while you're staring straight into the black hole of damnation beyond the void of the ethereal planes and the lower astral dimensions of consciousness that come crashing in between waves of sonic ambient driven guitar passages complete with hellacious howls of desperation and pain from rest in the distance. This creates some truly compelling and overbearing listening experiences, but it's very remarkable. Next, we move on to All Tongues Toward, and of course I'm asking myself, towards what exactly? And this isn't something that is easily answered because of the constant descending narrow tunnel downward that spirals out of control and becomes consumed with madness and such a bleak-fueled wretched nightmare of despair and suicidal bewildering amazement and transcendence almost as if you're already dead and gone and now dwelling in a world of nothingness and purgatorial chambers of suffering and isolation but of course that's the entire goal of the music I mean hell if one could attempt to put rests music into words one has to experience it in at least some form of similar symbiosis because without that, one cannot fathom this work or any of his work because you just don't possess the knowledge of these states of emotional distress or memories that will burn into your mind like the sun would burn out your fucking retinas. This is why residual trauma always creates compelling music. This is another amazing track. Closing this chapter of Demented Psychosis is of course the track of Phonos. And the way this one closes is almost as if everything Rest has captured here is on the verge of turning inward on itself. And while these sentiments and descriptors might, might not make sense to some of you, they will make a hell of a lot of sense to one who knows where this monster is coming from and why it was formed to begin with. 
You see, music like this exists out of necessity rather than merely the desire to create something that people will want to listen to. Because what music like this embodies is expressionism, ideas, concepts, and emotions that no one will want to experience. And much like these concepts, the music itself matches all these ideas, emotions, and palatabilities in disharmonic convergence. And the result is nothing short of a beast from the very bottom of the fucking abyss. And should you want to venture there, you will find something that resembles true artistic expression rather than the need to create strictly for notoriety's sake. This is an amazing closing track and easily the best work in my opinion is this album and could easily be placed alongside the 10th sub-level of Suicide, Tentacles of Horror, and of course, Massive Conspiracy Against All Life. This album is fucking remarkable. The final verdict for Scar Sighted from Leviathan is getting a 10 out of 10. This is a masterpiece from Rest. Links are in the description where you will be able to purchase this reissue and there is the back right there. Now if you watched the short that I put up on YouTube when I first got this, you will see all of the lyric sheets and uh, stuff of that nature. I don't feel like pulling all that out now, the video would be way too fucking long, okay? Alright guys, there you have it. Another album review in the books here on Music of Destruction. I hope you enjoyed the premiere. If you're new, hit that subscribe button down below. Turn on that bell for all notifications. Merchandise available. Links are in the description as well as bonfire.com forward slash store forward slash music of dash of dash destruction. The girlfriend right now is on Bonfire making some new designs because I've been just too busy. She's helping me with Bonfire. She's making my new set. She's making my new logo. The thumbnails are going to be changing. It's going to look absolutely awesome this channel is getting some massive editing upgrades as well you can join the channel and become an mod elite get amazing perks for 4.99 per month hit the join button get access to exclusive content review requests within reason band interviews and promotions if you have a band collaborations if you have a metal youtube channel and if you need help with your metal channel i can help you with thumbnails tagging keywording and all that kind of cool stuff have an awesome night. Thank you very much for watching. We'll see you for Album Ranking Wednesdays. Hails.